Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Pacific Islands. I will take you on a tour through the Inner for Act Pacific uh, community of practice. My name is Jana Dietershagen, and I was involved in a four year project on promoting nutritious food systems in the Pacific Islands at CTA. So just let me give you a quick background on the Enough for Act Pacific COP. Uh, the COP was set up through a four year project and the vision was to build the capacity for change. And that means building communities that could influence policy processes and uh, that people could form alliances to support agribusiness and value chain development in the Pacific Islands to improve Pacific livelihoods. Um, so what did we offer to the community? It was uh, facilitating online and offline uh, discussions um, that would provide a lot of networking opportunities and to strengthen the trust among the participants. It was about sharing knowledge uh, so they could do joint learning. It was to support the development of a, a, a common vision. So that would really enhance the joint action development and all that was a facilitation process. And that was uh, important that it was an ongoing facilitation process. And um, further, we um, supported the development of technical capacities so that uh, certain people that were volunteering would be able to administer and manage the D groups. And as well as uh, we were uh, supporting the development of facilitation skills. So to learn the ability to nurture and grow the online community and um, to form different groups by national and regional stakeholders. Um, but how did we actually arrive there? So we had uh, thought of a, a, a planning beforehand, uh, what certain steps would be needed and uh, we also reflected um, how did that process go? So how did we organize ourselves and set up and um, how could we add value? So first you, you need to reflect on that and think of uh, in what setting are you operating and um, which geographies are you wanting to cover? So the, the most important thing was first the technology skills building, but uh, to know what was needed, we conducted a capacity needs assessment. Um, and we then integrated the community into an online website and news updates and um, country pages and people could access other resources and events and links. And uh, the second uh, most important uh, essential step is to focus on the people, to get their buy-in through the online as well as the face-to-face multi-stakeholder sessions to build that trust and um, to actually integrate their feedback in the further strategy development and the development of the platform and other tools to engage them further. And the um, last but not least important step is to have a long term vision for both the underlying engagement strategy uh, in the back end, as well as for the D group, for the interactive training sessions, uh, for to build that capacity of moderators and facilitators and to build that common vision and people to take ownership uh to go forward so now after that uh, project ended we had already built the capacity for the community to take over now the end of fact uh, pacific community continues to live under a new name it's called uh, pacific food systems so the community had decided to rename uh, the group just to to make it um, yeah, more broader. Um, and um, 
the people are able to, they know the technology and they know how to interact to go forward. So um, that the D group can live on without external facilitation. Thank you. <laughs>